Hello guys, my name is Prince and this is my center. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. Post your comments and questions on my social media handles and I'll respond to it. We are on the topic mensuration. So far, we have considered how to find the area and perimeter of plane figures and composite shapes. In this video and the subsequent ones, we are going to concentrate on solid figures. The solid figures we'll be considering are cylinder, cuboid, cone, sphere, and pyramids. So, we will consider these types of solid figures. For plane figures, we learned how to find the area and perimeter. For solid figures, we are going to learn how to find the total surface area the curved surface area and the volume so for each of these plane solid figures we are going to learn how to find its total surface area curved surface area and volume the first solid figure you'll be considering is a cylinder cylinder the diagram you have here is a cylinder with height of h and a radius of r so the distance from the top part to the bottom is h which is the height of the cylinder and the radius of the circular end that we have here is r that is the radius of the cylinder so this is an example of a cylinder with radius r and a height of h one thing you need to know about a cylinder is that a cylinder may be closed at both ends opened at one end and closed at the other end or opened at both ends so for this cylinder we know that the top part here is, has a circular surface and the bottom will also have a circular surface now we are learning that both ends that is both circular surface can be closed it can also be that one is closed and the other is opened or both of them are opened so for example in the picture here the top part the circular end here is closed the bottom is also closed this is a type of a cylinder it can also happen that you have a cylinder where the top part is open as we have in this picture and the bottom is closed this is another part of a this is another type of a cylinder it can also happen that the top part here is opened as we have here and the bottom is also opened if you have a cylinder like that it's called a hollow cylinder a cylinder with both ends open is called a hollow cylinder so for cylinders you can have both ends opened both ends closed or one end opened and the other end closed just as we've seen we are going to learn how to find the total surface area curved surface area and volume of these types of cylinders thank you for watching this video subscribe to this channel for more videos in the next video we are going to learn how to find the total surface area curved surface area and volume of a cylinder bye bye